The new year marks a fresh start, not just physically, mentally, but also in the realm of fashion. Transitioning between prioritizing quantity versus quality has been a challenge in my fashion journey. I've found myself leaning towards quantity, favoring fast fashion and thrifted items for their variety at a lower cost. However, with an overflowing wardrobe, it's clear that a change is due. In navigating this dilemma of when to shift towards quality, I'll share insights on recognizing the right time to pivot, why a focus on quality matters, and the adjustments I'm making in my fashion choices this year. Experiment first and see what you really enjoy. Since 2007, I've been captivated by the fashion scene. High school saw me in skinny pants and streetwear, while college ushered in a shift towards dapper attire. Creating content in 2020 really heightened my awareness of the clothes I was acquiring. By grasping trends, understanding silhouettes, and what flattered my body, I laid the groundwork for my current style, which is a fusion of minimal, streetwear, and casual wear. Building the foundation, I evolved my wardrobe, starting with simple shirts and moving on to oversized shirts. Then my jacket evolution went from hoodies, denim, overshirts, overcoats, and so much more. Finally, last year, I widened my style horizon with the right pants, shifting from narrow to broader silhouettes. I've established a strong clothing foundation, but it's clear I need to downsize my wardrobe. So here are three reasons why I'm making this transition. Reason number one, when too much is too much. Last year, selling clothes on Depop really freed up space for better silhouettes. I realized I couldn't keep accumulating more as I sought variation of the same pieces. This led me to pursue a sustainable mindset, opting for long lasting quality pieces from smaller labels to high-end designers. Second reason is I've come to embrace my personal style, which consists of casual minimalism where shoes and outerwear steal the show. Discovering the style requires lots of fashion experimentation, but once I found out what truly resonated with me, I confidently shifted my focus towards quality over quantity, doubling down on what naturally appeals to me. And the last reason is when it just makes financial sense to you. Affordability is key. As a shorter male, silhouette matters most. I'd opt for a thrifted gem that fits perfectly over a designer piece for its name. Unless they match and fit. But when it aligns with your style and life, splurging on expensive pieces makes sense. I've curated a versatile wardrobe and now it's about elevating those multiple outfit options in a strategic way without breaking the bank. Coming from a frugal background, I've learned to be a bit creative with my money. So here are my savvy strategies to ensure a smooth, enjoyable transition without breaking the bank. This year, there will be less purchases but with more intent. This will help with self-control and being a bit more intentful. As a content creator, I prioritize items that reflect my values and stand the test of time in my wardrobe. So I aim for intentional and functional pieces that align with who I am. Strategy two is focusing on silhouettes over brand and then brand over quantity. As a shorter guy, I get inventive. Whether it's altering clothes lengths, hemming pants, or yes, exploring the women's section, silhouettes are my focus for a stylish edge. And if a designer brand has that competitive win, so be it. My third strategy involves prioritizing smaller brands known for fresh designs and superior quality. Smaller brands led by detailed-oriented founders and teams tend to uphold better quality control compared to larger or fast fashion brands. For instance, my Ori NYC boots have retained their comfort and quality since I got them, a big staple in my fall winter rotation, as well as a testament to this approach. And my last strategy is obviously going for sales at secondhand pieces. 
Essence and Nordstrom offer fantastic designer brand sales. For instance, snagging our legacy boots that are reduced from $600 to $400 saves me $200. Bucks. Key sales we're checking out are end of season, Black Friday, and year end sales. In fact, year end sales are great for foundational items since companies clear overstocked inventory and sometimes selling items at MSRP to break even without taking a loss. Not to mention, I see crazy prices being offered and sold for secondhand items on Grailed and Depop. So, highly recommend checking those two sites as well. This year is going to be a big year for me, and I'm super excited to show you all the evolution of what is going to take place. Although 2024 will be a year of change, I never ever want to stray away from what I truly believe in, and that's dressing comfortably and confidently with intent.